Hello and welcome. In a video I uploaded in the past, I went over my experience with Lucy where we went Tesla camping in the middle of the winter and it got down to 12 degrees. If you're interested in watching that video, just click on this pop out that will come out right here and you can see that. In today's video, I went on another camp out with Lydia this time and we went to a totally different location, happened to get down to 20 degrees on this particular camping trip. And so I'm going to go over how well the car performed, uh, the air mattress and blowing it up in the car and how it fits as well as the energy consumption and a little bit of an adventure that Lydia and I get into. We are going to go on a little camping trip. We're gonna go over to the west side of Utah Lake. And so, <laughs> looking here at the screen, we're going to be going along here. This is Utah Lake. We'll be going along the west side of it, down to this area here, which is called uh, Miners Canyon, I think and uh, there's a cool like rocky outcropping there and we're going to go somewhere around in here right there or right here and we're going to park the car here and we're going to camp there overnight are you excited lydia mm -hmm. how excited are you so excited so excited show me your excited face <laughs> All right, we went somewhere else today and it's been charging for a bit, but we are now up to 79% and that'll be more than enough to do what we need to do. If we look at the route information, right here it shows that the round trip uh, will be 62% if we leave right now, which we are. And uh, so what that tells me though, is that we have a good 50% with some safety margin of 12% to uh, use up overnight. And I fully anticipate that we're probably going to be using up around 15% of the battery based on my past camping experiences. So let's get on the road. We're gonna camp out. Are you so excited? Yeah. arrived you can see there's a big mound or hill behind me I'll call it a mountain for now because that's the closest highest point to us behind us here is Utah Lake and there's our Tesla and this is a nice area that we've found to hang out for the night in the car we're gonna camp out Lydia is just staying in the car right now because it's cold out here <laughs> I just want to show you the location here briefly and then I'm gonna get back in the car and we're gonna set up our bed and get ready for the night. Lydia's having fun playing asteroids. 
Do you like this game? Yeah. If someone's win wins or not, if it's it it broke broke it. Yeah. It's it, it's you have to work it again. Yeah. It's getting dark outside. We got here just in time to see the sunset. It took us about half an hour to drive here from our house, and um, it's an easy place for the uh, Model S to get to. It doesn't require any off-roading, although if we were to try to go up that mountain right there, there are definitely some off-roading trails that are for ATVs or for uh, rock climber trucks. But we're just gonna hang out here and uh, camp out for the night, keep the heater on so we're toasty warm, and we'll show you how it goes. We are at 66% battery, and it is 37 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And so we'll check it again in the morning and see how well we did. Oh, and it's probably worth pointing out that we are in camp mode, which means these screens stay on all night, including this one over here. The main center screen will stay on all night. And so that consumes some energy, but not very much. starting to rise and as is typical when you're camping if you can call what we're doing camping we tend to wake up right when it's starting to the sun is starting to rise hey Lydia <laughs> how'd you sleep good good are you warm what was that? Are you warm? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Good. Looking outside, it's 20 degrees and 45% battery. And Lydia came over here and started coloring right away. Really colorful, Lydia. We warmed up the cabin a bit this morning. It's up to 75 now. Hey, Lydia, do you want to show us your creation? Want to explain it to us? It's a talking ball. A talking ball? Uh -huh. And what does it say? I don't know. <laughs> well, it's colorful. Thank you. The, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but the temperature is 20 degrees and the battery is 44%. Look, but you... That's the view outside, so the sun just barely rose. We slept good last night, and we were warm in here and comfortable. It's cold enough that if we were to be trying to camp in a tent, we would have had to have a lot more bedding. But in here we had an extra blanket we never used and um, we had our sleeping bags. And uh, so now we're just giving the sunrise a chance to come up a bit and maybe we'll go hike to the top of the mountain over there. Maybe we won't, we'll see. And uh, then we'll... go on the hike. Oh, you do want to go on the hike? Up that mountain. Okay. We'll get our shoes and coats on and then we'll go hike the mountain. We're about halfway there. Here's the sunrise. Are you having fun hiking, Lydia? Yeah. 
All right, let's keep going. Oh, <laughs> you okay? It's a little steep. Okay, you'll be great. I'll help you, okay? Lydia and I are exploring the side of this mountain and it's pretty cool. Oh. It is a big rock. There you go. Dad, this looks like a dinosaur net. Oh, yeah. I think it's a dinosaur that's up there and then they're climbing on the Yeah. We are back in the car after the hike and she's watching some cookie decorating videos which she likes to watch and we're going to head back home. Let's get started. Oh, and I should mention that it's still 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside and the battery is currently at 41%. Oh, I thought I would add that I'm going to go ahead and uh, raise the suspension. Oh, it's still at very high from last night. Okay, so let's get out of here. the route that we came in on. The air suspension is on very high setting. And the Model S is handling this without any problems. There's some brush that's pretty close to the car, like right here, and I'm just making sure not to hit it. What do you think, Lydia? Was it a fun adventure? What was that? Yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna get home. What you may be wondering is how much energy did it actually take to stay in the Tesla all night with the heater on? And that's what a lot of people always ask me, and so I thought I'd cover that here. What you're showing here on the screen is TeslaFi. Uh, it's a service that uh, connects to your uh, Tesla account. It costs $5 a month, and, and then it downloads a bunch of information that uh, allows you to see uh, how the car is performing. And so uh, let me zoom in here a little bit. This is the first day uh, we just did some charging before going on the camp out because we had used the car earlier in the day. So here you can see we ended charging at 80%. So we were at 80% when we left to go on this trip. 
then down here we drove out to the west side of Utah Lake to do this camp out. Uh, we drove for 41 minutes um, and we drove at 80% efficiency. And uh, you can see some stats here about our speed and the temperature. So 35 degrees Fahrenheit outside versus 73 degrees in the cabin. So we used up 11% of the battery getting to our destination. And now the second day driving back home, uh, we drove from the camp out uh, over to our house. So that was a 28 minute drive. So we drove a little bit faster on the way back home um, and we got 78, uh, 71% efficiency. So yeah, the, you can see the efficiency drop there from our speed differential, uh, as well as it was colder in the morning when we drove home. So we used up 12% of the battery getting home. And then down here is the charge that we did once we got home. Um, so you can see uh, we started charging at 34% and we had ended charging the day before at 80%, right? So that's 46% uh, of the battery that we used up driving there, camping out overnight and coming back. So now let's see how much energy we actually used in the HVAC system. So this screen right here shows um, the standby losses of electricity in the Tesla over the course of the whole day. We had used the cars elsewhere in the day on both days. Uh, so these numbers aren't purely just the camping, but I don't have a way to just isolate that information. Um, this P here is just the standby losses when the car is just parked, so we can largely ignore that. This uh, uh, snowflake here is the HVAC system of the car. And so on this first day, it consumed nearly 14 kilowatt hours. And on the second day, uh, just over eight kilowatt hours. So combined, that's 22 kilowatt hours. The vast majority of this, I'm sure, was the heater being on all night in the car. Um, there is potentially some of this, though, that was from just the driving. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on exactly how they compartmentalize this particular energy consumption here. So um, when we went camping a couple of weeks ago, when I went with Lucy, which I can link that video right here, um, the percentage loss of the car was 21, uh, sorry, 19% uh, of the battery. And then on this camping trip, um, we used up 21% of the battery, just the overnight portion. We stayed there for a little while longer, and then by the time we actually drove away, it was at 25%. But I, I think to be comparing it to the same amount of time as the trip with Lucy, um, it was 19 versus 21. So 2% difference is pretty negligible. I, I would expect that. Um, it, the difference could be a, a variety of factors, you know, charging batteries in the car or, uh, or whatever. Lucy's trip was actually colder though, and yet it had a little bit less battery consumption, but it was probably partially just some other elements. So that gives you an idea of what it takes to camp out. I mean, this got down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit overnight and it still only took 21, or you could even round it up to 25% if you wanted to of the battery to do that all night long. I hope this video has been informative to show you what is possible to do in a Tesla. Staying warm all night in the winter is awesome, and I plan to do it again in the summer and, and show you what the energy consumption is keeping the air conditioning on all night. And so if you're interested in seeing any of my future videos I'll be uploading, please subscribe to my channel, and you'll get a notification every Friday when I upload a video. If you're interested in installing a Tesla Solar or buying a brand new Tesla, use my Tesla referral code down below and you'll get $250 off Solar or you'll get 1,000 free supercharger miles. And with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.